Howdy folks, I'm David, the Learning Specialist at Figma for EDU. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use templates. And templates are a great way to create activities and increase engagement and collaboration in your classroom. Let's go ahead and jump in. So what exactly is a FigJam template? Well, you're looking right at one over here. It is a FigJam board that already has sticky notes, directions, sometimes quick tips, and even examples of what the lesson or activity should look like. Now, before adding a template into your FigJam board, you're going to want to think, what is its intended purpose? Is it for a whole group lesson or activity like this popcorn share out, or is it more of an individual project or activity like this brace mat where students are contributing to things on their own? Once you have the activity's intended purpose, let me go ahead and show you in this blank space how to add a template right into your FigJam board. Look for the templates icon in the top left or right of your screen. Click on it and you'll see the template selection preview. I'm going to go in and scroll down to student and educator and select scientific flowchart template. When I click add template, it populates right into the canvas ready to go. Another place to find and use templates is at figma.com slash at K12 education. You can scroll through and select a template individually or type in the search bar, which I'm going to do right here. And the circle map looks like the one I want to use. Once on this page, I can scroll down to read more about the template or even expand this template and view it in its entirety. If I'm happy with this template, I can then click open in FigJam and select the account that I want to bring it into. Once the template loads, it's ready to be edited or used. If you'd like to further edit this template, you definitely can. You can select items like the title or even the about this template and delete them and move things around so that it fits your desired lesson design. Also, if I want to have two different circle maps because I'm splitting my class in half, I can select the section, click on rename section, and I can call this group one. I can then select the section again, hit control C, maybe even change the color so that I have group one and group two circle maps side by side. Here I am further customizing the template to fit my classroom needs. Now, after students are brainstorming and adding in their ideas, everything they know about, let's say a certain animal they're studying, I can continue to build this activity out by adding in another template. Let me go over here to student educator and let's search up a drawing activity to give the students a little bit of creativity in expressing their thoughts. This animal drawing icebreaker looks perfect. I'll click add template. I can go in here. I can bump things up a little bit, delete things I don't need. And here I have two activities. A circle map where I divide the class into group work and an animal drawing activity where students individually go in, add their names and draw their favorite animal in an alternative habitat. And this is how you can use templates and build templates within FigJam pages to create on the go lessons as you teach. I hope these tips about FigJam templates help. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us at education at figma.com. We'd love to talk to you, get to know you and maybe even help your specific classroom needs. Cheers, folks, and as always, happy jamming.